Hey there, tech enthusiasts. So, you're thinking about trying Ubuntu, huh? But now you're staring at the download page and wondering, what's this LTS thing? And is it right for me? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. In today's video, we're diving into what Ubuntu LTS means, how it's different from non-LTS, and when you should choose one over the other. So grab a cup of coffee, relax, and let's break it down. First off, LTS stands for Long-Term Support. These versions of Ubuntu are built for stability and come with five years of updates. Yes, five years of security patches and maintenance, completely free. In comparison, non-LTS versions? They only get nine months of updates. Yep, less than a year, so you'll need to upgrade more often to keep your system secure. Now, if you head over to the Ubuntu website, you'll notice two options. The LTS version is designed for long-term use, perfect for businesses, servers, or anyone who wants a set-it-and-forget-it operating system. But then there's the non-LTS release, updated every six months. This one's for the tech enthusiasts who love playing with the latest features and don't mind a little extra maintenance. Here's the deal with LTS versions. They prioritize stability over cutting-edge features. For example, Ubuntu. 24.04 LTS comes with GNOME 46. Even if GNOME 47 drops a year later, your system stays on GNOME 46. Why? To make sure everything works seamlessly without unexpected crashes. But with non-LTS versions, you get the newest features right away. GNOME 47? It's yours the moment it's released. The trade-off? You'll need to upgrade your system every six to nine months to stay secure. So why doesn't LTS just update everything? Well, think of Ubuntu like a giant puzzle. Each piece, whether it's the Linux kernel, GNOME, or system libraries, needs to fit perfectly. If Canonical, the team behind Ubuntu, swapped in a new piece mid-cycle, it could throw off the whole puzzle, leading to crashes or bugs. That's why LTS versions stick with their original components and only update security patches, bug fixes, and hardware compatibility. Now, if you're thinking, what about my apps? I want the latest versions. Don't worry. That's where Snaps and Flatpaks come in. These are modern, sandboxed app formats that let you install the latest versions of software like Firefox or LibreOffice without messing with your system's stability. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's sum it up. If you're looking for stability, long-term security, and minimal upgrades, go with LTS. It's great for businesses, workstations, or heavily customized personal setups. But if you're someone who loves experimenting with the latest and greatest, and you don't mind upgrading frequently, non-LTS is the way to go. So, which version of Ubuntu fits your vibe? LTS or non-LTS? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell for more tech breakdowns like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.